Hi, it's Aaron here from Oak Hill Property Group, and today we're covering a video presentation on buy to let basics how to invest in property. So, firstly, then, what is a buy to let? And you may or may not know this, but around 40% of the UK housing stock is made up of private and social rentals, the other 60% being owner occupied. Now, typically with a buy to let, we'll be focusing on the private side and what we're saying for the buy to let is you're purchasing a house and you're going to make that into somebody else's home uh, and they will then pay you a rental amount typically every month for the privilege of living in that home. And that is really the basics of a buy to let. So why would you want a buy to let? And there's a number of reasons here. The first one is your cash flow. So a consistent cash flow coming in every single month. And with a buy to let property, it is the best way to make a passive income through property. Next, then you've got your capital appreciation, which is where most of your money being made from a buy to let property. And it can vary from place to place, uh, year to year, but typically average uh, capital appreciation in the UK has been between around seven and 8%, uh, which is absolutely amazing. And on top of this, we've got leverage. And typically with a buy to let, we'll be putting 25% down and the banks will be putting 75% down. Uh, so we leverage the bank's money and what is amazing is that we receive 100% of the capital appreciation uh, for only putting 25% down. So we are massively leveraging the bank's money, which is absolutely amazing. And not only that, but with your buy set mortgage, you're typically having an interest only mortgage. Uh, and what happens over time is that interest amount obviously stays the same, but your cash flow will increase over time. So you've got capital appreciation, you've got your rental appreciation, um, and you've got a consistent cash flow coming in. Uh, so you couple all that together and it's absolutely incredible. Uh, and that is ultimately how you can start to really build your wealth through buy to property and build a legacy. So things to consider really then when we're investing in property is just really the basics of what affects property, um, the interest rates, et cetera, et cetera. So just knowing as much as you can about the external factors um, on the property market will put you in a great position before you get started. Now on top of this, there's going to be a number of factors that are ultimately going to decide um, the quality of property investment that you're going to get. You really need to understand the area you want to invest in. You want to understand the property type that you want to invest in. And there's a number of factors which will vary from area to area. What will be the ideal property investments? Next, then this is really important is understanding the supply and demand. This is heavily going to influence your decision on where and what to invest in. But yeah, ultimately just understanding that balance of supply and demand in your investment area before you go ahead and make a decision. So then we come on to regeneration plans and identify any development. So looking in your area, what's going on, what's getting developed, is there employment development, is there housing development? And not just right now, but look at the next five to 10 years, and this is heavily gonna impact your capital appreciation over time. And this probably goes without saying, but just make sure you're completing all your due diligence on a property before you commit to your investment. So yeah, you just wanna make sure you're not jumping in unprepared, so just make sure you do your homework. And once you've found a ideal property investment, you're gonna to need to know how to finance it. And typically there's two routes. You can either buy it with cash or with a mortgage. Uh, and really mortgage is the way you're gonna to want to go. Um, and on a buy to let mortgage, you'll be looking at your 25% deposit uh, and an interest only mortgage on that. Now, that isn't financial advice. I'm not a qualified broker, so do reach out to a buy to let specialist broker for your own personal advice. But that's just my opinion. You'll be wanting to using a buy to let mortgage purely because of the leverage we talked about earlier. Okay, so we found a property, we financed the property, and now we need to make sure that we are compliant. Now, there are a number of uh, rules and regulations, the tenancy laws, we need to make sure we are preparing the property correctly, we are doing the onboarding and the, the move-in, uh, all in compliance, and you've got your contracts, your inventories, deposits. There's a lot to think about to make sure to get your buy to let up and running correctly and your local letting agencies will help you with all of this stuff. So once you've secured your tenant or your contract holder, you need to make sure you're covering the ongoing management. Uh, and again, you can do this yourself, but you do need to make sure you're being compliant or you can turn to your letting agencies again and they will help you uh, make sure you're continue to be legal on, a, on an ongoing basis. They'll do property inspections uh, for yourself and for the tenants. They'll cover your ongoing maintenance and uh, manage the contract uh, just from year to year. So make sure you're using them for that service. 
So with all that being said then, what does success look like for a buy set property? Now, it's all about building security through appreciating assets. You can build a legacy for you and your family for generations. You can start to substitute your income with that passive cash flow coming in. Uh, you earn some of your time back. Do more things that you love. And this is all possible with buy set property. And why, if you couldn't tell, I love buy to lets. Now, if you want to learn more about buy set property, you can head over to the Property Lab for more information and free resources. The aim of the Property Lab is just to give you everything you need to get started in property. Uh, so there's a number of resources you can go over there. They're all free, um, no sign up, nothing like that. You can just go to the website. The link will be in the description. Uh, you can download some of those guides and resources. Also, you're gonna see some more links to some of the YouTube videos and the tutorials that I do as well. So please go there, make use of that, enjoy it, get as much value from it as possible. It's all there for you for free. If you really wanna get involved in property investment and build your buy set portfolio, but you maybe don't have the time or the network around you, then you can head over to Oak Hill Property Group uh, for more information on our hands-free buy select property investment service. So again, the link will be in the description there and it will give you everything you need to know about our hands-free end-to-end buy to let property investment service. As I say, if you haven't got the time or the network around you or the knowledge, this is for you. So go ahead, click the link in the description and you'll find out all the information you need at the website, oakhillpropertygroup.co.uk. So that is everything, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some value from that and stay tuned for another video next week.